Happy September. Sunny day, and we got ducks. Oh, jeez. <laughs> It's just opening day, teal season. What do you think? Never gets old. Just waiting on the angle shooting light. Got some birds out in the middle of the slough, so. Of course, during the early teal season, we can't shoot till sunrise, so we're getting quite a show, but we'd probably have a lot of ducks in our hand if we could shoot now, but that's okay. This is the best part of the hunt. This is incredible. Just gotta wait for time and start banging away. Here we go. We're just sitting here watching mallards bomb the decoys. Oh, there's another one coming in. And uh, that's part of the early teal season. Obviously, uh, teal are the only ducks we can shoot. We can shoot Canada geese. The early Canada goose season is going on. Um, but just like any any typical teal hunt, they're in. They're, they show up early and they're in the decoys before you're ready. And I was parked in the truck and I came walking back out here to this blind and I could hear teal swimming in the decoy. So I stayed back while these two guys sat out here waiting for legal shooting time. And it was just a couple teal to start with, Wade, right? Yeah. Yeah, there were probably five or six out there and they just kept coming and coming and coming. And then just before shooting time, there must have been, I don't know, a group of 40 or 50 that just bombed right in front of us and settled right into the decoys. It's gonna be 97 degrees today. Uh, we're on our way to an early teal season limit, so hopefully hopefully we get done before the, the, the heat arrives. But it's kind of nice not sitting in the mud and the cattails for a change. We got this new, new blind this year from Blind Spot. So not bad, Minnesota early teal opener. much easier during this early teal season to let them land first. I like shooting them out of the air like anybody, but you just gotta be, be so sure of your identification on these teal. And when we're looking into the sun like this, it's just easier to let them land, get a good idea on them. You could let them fly at that point or take them however you want to. It's all about getting some teal for the grill tonight. Early September. Sunny day, and we got ducks. The 
the famous teal line That's decoy right. spread. That was hard work. It was muddy. I wasn't going to screw I mean, did you even it. throw them? What's that? Did you just stand in one spot and just set them next to you? Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> but it's working. Denver. Well, I think that's a wrap. Got a little bit later here in the morning. It is already getting really hot, so we're gonna call her. Got a nice pile of uh, blue wing teal here on the teal opener. We're just gonna send both the dogs and uh, do some cleanup work on a couple of birds here that we shot at the end. And then uh, we're gonna go get them ready and we're gonna put some doves and some teal, I think on the grill. Either way, we're gonna go cook up some birds fresh from the field from yesterday and today. Uh, opening day, wild game meal, let's go. We love to eat our wild game here, of course, and we're really excited tonight. We've got fresh teal breasts and also these uh, dove breasts that we shot. And uh, we uh, plucked the teal breasts. So left the skin on the breast, cut the breasts out, but plucked them full of feathers. So most of our teal breasts anyway, still have the skin on them. And we had them uh, kind of brining in just a water brine just to clean them out a little bit. Put some salt on them, came out of the fridge, and then I uh, seasoned them and have some barbecue sauce on them. So we've got some Cajun seasoning on here, some salt and some barbecue sauce. And now we're gonna try to cook them at about 200 degrees on the pellet grill for about an hour, hour and a half, checking them all the time. And Hank Shaw recommends putting barbecue sauce every so often on them. So that's probably what we're gonna do. And hopefully beating some really good teal and dove here real soon. Mika, are they done? One thing like this, you want to monitor your temperature and I'm trying to hold it at 200 and it's definitely gotten a little warm on me. So I'm just gonna open the lid, let it cool off a little bit. And uh, we cooked them a little bit warmer than recommended. So I didn't want to wait all night to eat them. I'm hungry. Oh yeah. Look at that bad Larry. Heck yeah. That is amazing. Finger lick. <laughs> you all choked out, are you crying? Yep. Is it that good? 